Beginning with tax year 2014, you can copy data from other applications and file formats and use the new Paste Special tool to paste the data into a worksheet grid of a CCH Access tax return. Applications or file formats you can copy data from and paste into a worksheet grid include Microsoft Excel spreadsheets, Microsoft Word documents, data saved to comma separated values format, and data saved to tab delimited text format. In this video, I'll show you how to use the Paste Special tool. The new Paste Special tool provides you with an additional option for entering tax return data. The Paste Special tool is available in the grid control area of the worksheet grid, and when you click inside a target cell, the Paste Special tool is also available from the right click menu. Use the tool to paste data to a single cell on a grid, to a column on a grid, or to multiple cells on a worksheet grid. I'm going to demonstrate the Paste Special tool by copying data from a column on an Excel spreadsheet and pasting the data into a column on Section 1 of the Gains and Losses worksheet. I'll start by copying the data I want from the Source Excel file and to initiate the Paste Special operation on the target worksheet grid, I need to click inside the initial field where I want to paste the data and then select the Paste Special tool. A preview grid opens and I can preview the data that will be pasted into the target cells of my worksheet. I'll complete the Paste Special operation by clicking the Paste button. In this segment of the video, I'll explain how to handle errors and warnings that the copied data might generate. Errors, for example, are generated when copied data is not in a proper format for its targeted field on the worksheet grid. Notice that in the cost field for one of the transactions on my source file, text data is entered in a field that is formatted for numeric data on the target summary grid. When I copy columns B through H and paste them to my worksheet grid, the data in cell C11 will generate an error. When a data copied generates an error, an error icon displays next to the data on the preview grid. In addition to the error icon that displays, I can see the number of errors generated in the lower left-hand corner of the preview grid. I can proceed with the Paste Special operation, but data that generates an error will not be pasted to the grid unless I correct the error. If warnings are generated, I can also see the number of warnings in the lower left-hand corner of the preview grid. A warning would be generated, for example, when the characters in the cell copied exceed the maximum characters permitted for the cell on the worksheet grid. In such a case, the program truncates the copied data and allows me to paste the truncated value into the field on the worksheet grid along with the other copied data. I can click the Details button in the lower right-hand corner of the preview grid to view a report describing any errors or warnings. As you see, after I click the Paste button, the copied data is pasted into the worksheet grid minus the data that generated the error. Employ the same procedures to use the Paste Special tool when copying data from a file saved to comma-separated values format, tab delimited text format, or Word document. It is important to note that when copying data from a Word document, the data must be entered on the Word document in table or columnar format. Before I conclude this video, I'd like to leave you with some final tips for using the Paste Special tool. You cannot paste data into a grid when the return is locked, nor can you paste data into a grid when you don't have rights to edit the return, and you cannot undo a completed paste special operation. To remove the pasted data, you must delete the data using the delete field or delete section tools available on the delete menu on the home ribbon or close the return without saving your changes. As shown in this video, the new paste special tool allows you to copy data from a variety of sources and enter the data on a grid worksheet, thus streamlining the tax return data entry process and reducing the chance for manual data entry errors. I hope that you found the information in this video useful. Thanks for watching. For additional training resources, click the link below to visit our training and consulting webpage.